Hey Cancer, this is Mortadelo Crest, the Guard Owl. We are going to be doing your monthly read for the month of October 2020. I've already pre-shuffled the card, so we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Silence, I ask of the Holy Kindred, sons and daughters of La Santissima Muerte, high and low. At your wastefall, Mother, I will relay the things unspoken of, forgotten, and kept in secret. Heat and cold as I walk through this home, a far scene which rise in tarot. Ooh, Cancer, Tower, Temperance in Reverse, Death in Reverse, The Hierophant in Reverse, The Fool in Reverse, The Hermit in Reverse. What is going on, Cancer? All right. Three of Pentacles in reverse, below Temperance. Nine of Wands, below Death in reverse. Prince of Wands, below the Hierophant in reverse. Nine of Cups, below the Fool in reverse. And the Seven of Wands, below the Hermit in reverse. I swear, Cancer, I shuffled these. Y'all know I do reversals and uprights. This is a first, <laughs> but we're going to go ahead and get into it. Okay, Cancer. So the the overall energy I'm getting already right now, uh, obviously with the tower, hardcore tower moments, all right, for a lot of you Cancers out there. Um, a lot of this could be due to, again, you know, the obvious, the past, what, going on five, almost six months now dealing with, with COVID-19. Um Created a tower moment for a lot of people. However, for some of you cancers out there, you're really feeling it in the month of October. Um, it's going to be a really hard one for you guys, especially considering the fact that between two full moons, one of which already passed, uh, we have eight. We have eight planets in retrograde. Okay, so let's jump right into it. So we got the Temperance card, um, and it's it's crowning. The three of Pentacles, but these two are in reverse. Um, so basically, you know, temper, temper, uh, kind of losing your cool, feeling a little bit of that crabbiness of the crab that you are, Cancer. Uh, and a lot of it is because of, you know, financial stability. Uh, there is a big, huge blockage of financial, you know, stability. There's just a big old rut in the way. And a lot of it is because of this, uh, this tower moment that you're having in the month of October. Um, this is kind of good, though. I mean, the tower is, is, is a card of, you know, super hardcore challenges. Uh, it's a mix of, of almost every, every suit of, you know, the emotional part of the cups, uh, trying to figure out how to do things fast, such as the swords, you know, lots of air energy uh, and brainwashing lots of overthinking and a lot of stress um and also everything kind of crashing down on you a little fast um it's also dealing with the pentacles money is coming but yet money's going and even as it's going it's like how am i going to make ends meet now that this bill is paid and, and that bill is paid um so that's what i'm getting right here in the household of things I'm going to go ahead and pull out some cards for clarification. Yeah, I got the, I'm sorry, I got the world here in uh, the reverse. Nine of pentacles in the upright. Um, so sometime within the next 21 days, and I'm getting this with the world card, sometime in the next 21 days, and I know that's quite a stretch because we're already like, what, I'm nearing this on the 5th of October. So already five days gone, but within the next 21 days, coming in close towards the last week of the month uh, is finally when things are gonna start to look up. Um, and this may have to do with a possible old friend. I'm getting this with this nine of pentacles uh, and somebody that is definitely from your past uh, but this has a lot to do with you brainstorming for some of you cancers out there. Some of you brainstorming, trying to bring somebody in from your past. Uh, you're brainstorming, you know, the only way I can make men's meet possibly is by, you know, bringing in an old, you know, business type confidant. 
uh, somebody who knows how to pull strings together, maybe making a team out of something. So that would be good for some of you cancers if you have that type of friend, you know, out there. Uh, for other of you cancers, um, a lot of this has to, a lot to do with, um, you know, loaning money at a time when you really shouldn't. And of course, times are tough. And so, you know, with everything that's going on, some people might feel a little bad doing that. But seriously, uh, you cancers, you're going to have to kind of like just pull back into your shell uh, and possibly, you know, stay away from the social, you know, life if you need to uh, in order to make this happen. OK, um, because you got a lot of the, what they call Johnny come lately, you know, lots of Johnny's come lately. All of a sudden, those text messages are coming in. Those messenger messages are coming in. Emails are coming in. Like, hey, buddy, I haven't seen or heard from you in a while. Uh, and then they hit you up, you know, for a loan of something. Uh, whereas they should be doing this in maybe a possible other way in such a way where maybe even for you cancer you should be doing which would be you know what instead of asking for a loan try to get together and figure out a way to make ends meet together everybody coming together that would be the best way possible but going into the social line where i'm getting this from is the death card the death card is here in the reverse okay so that's a transitional transformative um card but the end of old things and the beginning of new things and the new things is the nine of wands here, uh, standing your ground and standing alone, okay? And that's also very much like you, Cancers, uh, but you really, really need to get into this because I feel like with the whole COVID-19 thing uh, across the country and across the world for some of you, Cancers, um, you kind of got a little too social, uh, more than is, than is comfortable for you, and now it's kind of biting some of you, Cancers, in the butt. Uh, so you really need to kind of just crawl back into your into your shell the way you know yourself to be. And this is a real way of you getting down to business, okay? And literally getting down to business. Talk to the people that you really need to talk to. These Johnny-come-latelys, unless they're family members, don't put too much stock into it. You'll never see the payment back again. Trust. Um, looking in over here, uh, we have the Hierophant. And it's in the reverse over the Prince of Wands, okay? So this is very much a, a very uh, spiritual structuredized card. Um, but it also has to do with your foundations, and your foundations have definitely been shook up. Then again, the tower, and it's right above the Hierophant. The Hierophant's in the reverse. Uh, the Hierophant is also, it, it talks about like... Uh, spiritual qualities, but a lot of the financial qualities too. The blessings of abundance have not really been coming in. We got this with the, with the Prince of Wands here. And even though it's the Prince of Wands, uh, for some of you cancers, it's just not happening fast enough because he's way over here and where you want to be is way up here, you know, where, where this palace is at. And that's where you're trying to get. But it's all these obstacles that you have to go through. Uh, and so definitely October is definitely the month of, of obstacle for you, okay, cancers? I really wish it was some other way, but I mean, you see already how this came out, all these reversals at the top. Um, so definitely, 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 October is going to be the most challenging month out of the whole year. If you cancer think that this whole time it's been challenging for you, this is the month for sure that's gonna be the most challenging for you, the month of October, okay? Going on forward, so we have the Fool here, and the Fool is here in the reverse. Uh, it's time you're the full hair reverse because you're not really about, you know, taking, you know, any more chances anymore. Uh, you know, yes, embarking on, on new ideas and stuff, but really not taking the risk so much because of the way everything is in the world right now. It's kind of risky to take risks. Um, but with this nine of cups in doing so, you will come out very, very good in the end. Um, you know, and then it's the nine of cups, you know, it's nine. So that, that's that's a very good number to have at, towards the end of the month. Um, I'm getting a little bit of a number right here. Uh, you see these right here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so within the next eight days, going back to uh, towards the end of the month, like I said, you know, fast forwarding to, to 21 days later, within the next eight days is, a, is the prime time as of the airing of this video for you to start doing what you need to do. Um, the key word here that Spirit's giving me is network. That's what we're going for. You need to network. You need to, you need to find this person or these people that can help you make it happen. Um, 
especially because of the way things have been going on with COVID-19 as of lately. Uh, a lot of people have been pursuing opening their own businesses online. And so for some of you cancers that have done so and having a little bit of an issue and now it's really starting to get, you know, hectic, more networking. Don't, don't do things too much on your own. Now's not the time to do it too much on your own. You've set yourself up to a certain point. Okay, you've set up your tower, but it's very at the, it's it's now at the top of crumbling, but not completely. There's still a bit of a foundation there, but it's definitely been rocked. Okay, and so with this Hierophant card, this is Spirit telling me through the Hierophant card to go ahead and start networking, um, but really, really, really use your mind. Think about, you know, I'm getting, it's not who you know, it's what you know, but in the reverse now. It's not what you know at this point, it's who you know. It's definitely about who you know right now, okay? No more risk taking. You've done that already. This is not the month to be doing that. Um, the end resulting of the month is gonna be uh, the Hermit right here with this card and the Seven of Wands. So very much going to be, you know, I don't see I don't see so much uh, anything going on with you too much with the spiritual, even though the Hermit font is a very spiritual card and so is the Hermit. And that would also kind of be you, kind of like the hermit crab. But, um, you know, we have the nine of wands standing your ground and then coming out even stronger, okay? Because so, more of these Johnny come latelys are going to still be there and you're just going to have to smack them out of the way. You're just going to have to do that. Stand your ground, stay strong, do your networking, uh, and everything else will come into play for you. But this death card, you definitely want to try to turn this right side up because it's definitely, you know, this death card right here and this tower card really do go hand in hand. They really do go hand in hand for you. They're both cards of transition, but they're very, they're very strong cards of transformation. I mean, this tower card plus the death card, Make sure that when this tower comes completely down, this death card comes completely right side up. You want to be on top of that horse and you want to be fierce. And that's exactly how I see a lot of you cancers coming out in the end. It's coming out very fierce. So flip those cards around simultaneously, okay? Just like, you know, you would do with this temperance card. Just like this, this angel right here in the temperance card. You see how the fluidity is just going back and forth. You know, that's what you need to do with that tower card and that death card. All right, counselors, I know it was pretty short and it wasn't the most kind, uh, but that's what I got for you. Stay focused, stay strong, stay extremely balanced as much as possible, and you'll get through this whole entire month, Cancer, okay? Remember, the key word is, is networking. Networking is the key word for you, okay? All right, counselors, have a good one. We'll see you next month.